Do you find yourself going for the same bottle of wine and you're starting to get bored? The old saying is that variety is the spice of life. We crave variety to avoid boredom. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can keep your wine experiences fun and fresh all the time. Make sure you subscribe to Gladiator Wine TV so you don't miss out on the inside scoop of Italian wine. When it comes to wine, tasting a variety of different wines keeps your experiences novel and fresh. You do that by tasting different types of wines. With Italian wines, you can explore different grape varietals, different regions, different appellations. The possibilities are endless. But there's actually a different way, much more simple, to spice up your variety. And that's tasting different vintages. A vintage in the wine world refers to the year of the harvest. When you see a year like 2017 or 2009 on the label, that refers to the year of the harvest of the grapes found in your bottle. When talking about mass produced wines, the vintage doesn't matter. The wine is factory made. That's why it tastes the same from one year to the next. And that's not exactly the spice of life. There's a couple of things you can do to avoid the monotony of mass produced vintages that taste the same. Look for small artisan wineries. Look for small batch wines that are produced under 50,000 bottles per year, and ideally much lower than that. When you do that, you'll find vintages that taste uniquely different from one year to the next. If you get attached to a certain wine made by a certain winemaker, every year you should have a new wine tasting experience. And that's because the small craft winemaker isn't concerned about making a lot of wine, they're concerned with making an authentic, high quality wine. So if the climate isn't good one year, the artisan will make less wine. They will only harvest the best of their grapes and make only wine from those. The big wineries won't do that. They choose to make more wine and intervene in the wine cellar with technology and additives to make the wine consistently drinkable. Have you ever seen those vintage charts? Some wine experts will give you a chart list of good vintages for age-worthy wines like Barolo or Brunello di Montalcino. They'll tell you 2015 was a great vintage, for example, and sometimes that leads to more demand for that vintage along with some higher prices. With the vintage charts, let me give you a real life example. When you look up the vintage chart for Barbaresco 2017, you'll see that the year was mediocre. If you saw that, it might dissuade you from buying that Barbaresco 2017. But I found a micro batch of Barbaresco made by the Battaglio family, and their 2017 is absolutely amazing. I'd hardly call it mediocre. And it's not just my opinion. There's a wine competition in Italy called the Merano Wine Hunter. It's sort of like the Olympics of wine in Italy. They not only taste all the wines blindfolded, but they decant the wines for two hours before tasting them. The Battaglio Barbaresco 2017 won a gold medal from this prestigious Italian wine competition. And Gianluca Battaglio only makes 1,600 bottles per year. Again, back to the concept of small batch winemaking. So I've left you a link in the description below to show you how you can order that particular wine if you'd like it and have it shipped straight to your house in just a few short days. So if you do nothing else, just by following a certain small batch wine from one year to the next, the vintage will give you the spice of life. I'm Tony Margiotto. Make sure you subscribe to Gladiator Wine TV so you don't miss out on the inside scoop about Italian wine. And I'll see you in the next video.